Qatar has voted in favor of a UN resolution that will counter anti-religious hatred and bigotry. Muslims raise concerns on wasted water at ablution facilities inside mosques. The UN warns 600 million people could be chronically undernourished amid a drastic rise in hunger. And finally, football clubs around the world are set to cash in from FIFA. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. A United Nations resolution that counters religious hatred has been adopted after the majority voted in favor of the move. Qatar joined 27 other member states to vote for the move, though 12 opposed and 7 abstained. The vote comes after a string of Quran-burning incidents in Europe that have sparked outrage across the Muslim world. Qatari official Hind al-Muftah said the resolution itself does not seek to halt the right to free speech, but rather aims to strike a balance between exercise of this right with special duties of states and individual responsibilities. Here in Qatar, Muslims say more efforts should be made to ensure worshippers are more mindful of how much water is used at mosques nationwide. Speaking to Doha News, residents of the Gulf state have raised concerns of flowing taps at ablution facilities and called for action to conserve water. While automatic taps have been installed at major mosques in the country, local facilities have yet to adopt such features. For the full report, check out our website. Now, an alarming report from the United Nations reveals that global hunger surged dramatically in 2019 reaching a staggering 735 million people. The report grimly predicts that if these trends persist, nearly 600 million people are said to be chronically undernourished by 2030. However, UN Chief Antonio Guterres said there are rays of hope with some regions on track to achieve some 2030 nutrition targets. And finally, FIFA is set to pay a total sum of $209 million to football clubs whose players played at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. 440 clubs from 51 different countries are set to be compensated with a daily amount of $10,950 to be paid for each of the 734 footballers, regardless of how many minutes they actually played at the showpiece event. The event in Qatar ended with Lionel Messi lifting the cup for Argentina. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.